And now, the History Channel. Tourism in Tuvalu. So what about tourism, Chris? Well, it's funny you should ask. Funafuti is the only place in Tuvalu with an airport. In fact, the Matsukigali bar near the airstrip holds discos most nights except for Sundays. Yeah, this is where the tourists would first come in contact with the small island nation. And if one was crazy enough to travel to this trash dump of a chain of islands, then traveling to the outer islands is probably on the agenda too. In that case, there are two passenger cargo ships you're going to take. The Nevaga II and the Manu Falo, which makes round trips every three to four weeks. And with no tourist accommodations on the outer islands, have fun digging a hole to crap in. Mm. There's not much to do in Tuvalu. I checked online. And besides the pork and the occasional disco, you might want to take a dip in their lagoons or their beaches. I know I would. Sports in Tuvalu. While tourists are trying to find activities to partake in, the islanders have games and recreation of their own. For instance, they play a cricket-like game called Kilikiti. Another game they play is called Te Ano, or The Ball. And this game ends with the loser performing funny song and dance routines. This is intended to bring the winners back to Earth. <laughs> and although there are no records of an official team, rugby remains popular yet undeveloped in Tuvalu. Though they do have a national football team that competes locally, but it's not a FIFA member. Getting the munchies in Tuvalu. Darn, I wish I had some bananas like they frequently eat in Tuvalu. But how about some protein? Their protein consists of seafood, which includes crabs, turtles, and some fish. But I don't feel like eating turtles. Ever. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. Well, it looks like some friends are coming over. I guess I better cook up some pork like they do for parties in Tuvalu. I think I'll cut up some coconuts for Fruity Delight. Shaking your booty in Tuvalu. Song and dance is a common way for the islanders to keep themselves entertained, as it is for many cultures. There were two primary dances of Tuvalu, the Fakanao and the Fakasisi, although the Fakanao has been lost in tradition. It was just too erotic for the pretty missionaries. Especially after the arrival of the Europeans, most traditional dancing was forbidden. The Fakasisi, however, lives on and is performed by elders. It's a slower song with loose dancing rules. Both of these dances were used for celebrations and special occasions. Such as the opening of a new building, greeting special visitors, or just to celebrate holidays. The most famous Tuvalu in dance music is the Fatel. The harmony and melody of the Fatel is European influenced and is a competitive dance that divides the islands into two sides. Yep. Lyricism is important as well in the Fatel tradition, and it starts with the older men singing a song. They gradually repeat it louder and quicker as others join in. Yeah, they use empty cracker cans and wooden boxes to play rhythm. Looks like they found a use for the trash after all. <laughs> that they did. Dancers for the Fatel enact the story being retold. The end of the Fatel comes as a climax with an abrupt ending. Remember class, this is important. The most famous dance music is the Fatel.
Oh, oh, oh.